What's up everybody doing a review of the Alter Boost 350s. I guess Barney wants to join me. Try to move over a little bit. Um, we're doing this one out front so you can see a little bit better. Size 13, paid 220. Um, got them from Champs as you can see on the bag on the floor. Um, as usual they were assholes. Horrible customer service at Champs. Always. Um, but anyway, it was worth the wait to get these shoes. Had a little trouble with the app. Um, had to log in a few times, but it was definitely worth the wait. Here they are in the sunlight. Black on black on red. Um, great shoe. Kept the tag on because I just busted them out of the box. Um, I'll be cutting those off and wearing these. Um, here they are. They come with the insole and that little lining. I don't know if you can see the lining. But I took it out. Here it is. And I notice it says 11 and a half, 12 and a half, and I wear 13s. But the Alter Boost said the same thing. Um, and it seems like they are a little bit tight through here in both shoe. These ones here, the Yeezys are a little bit more narrow in the front. Um, they do have more room here in the arch um, because they don't have the same padding as the Alter Boost has underneath here. Um, but they fit pretty good. Um, if I could get a 13 and a half, I would. I do have a wider foot, um, but I haven't seen a pair of those. And I haven't even tried on a 14 to tell you what those feel like. Um, it's a great shoe, just as comfortable in the Alter Boost, if not more comfortable. Um, if I could buy a pair for Barney, I probably would. He'd probably just chew them up, though. But it's a nice shoe. Nice. Boost all throughout. No complaints so far. Probably break them in, wear them for work today. Um, definitely worth the purchase if you can cop them. Um, only thing I worry about is a little bit tight through here, but like I said with the Prime Knit, don't have to worry about that because it spreads or breaks in like a sock. Um, good luck getting them.